if you could uh unmute that'd be nice <laughs> and uh i want someone that everyone stop raising your hands i want someone against e-dating to raise their hand uh all right someone against e hi hello Wait, 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 wait. Well, I did. I'm one. against yeah. eating. I know it, I know it. I'm not against it at all. Um. Alright, so. Question out of hand. I'm trying to change it. Question out of hand. Is e dating love? No. No. It's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We haven't started the debate. Come on now. Okay. Hmm? All right, so we're going to go with the e-dating side first, with is the e-dating real love, and then the against e-dating, you can counteract, counteract that argument with your own, and you can okay. take it from there. Make sure it's civil, make sure you guys keep it with the facts and not any wrong information, and yeah. Okay. Okay. So I can explain now? Yeah, you go okay, um, personally, with my experience, I could say it is real love, because you can talk all the time, sometimes you may or may not be available, but that doesn't really mean much, like, one day, if you're in the same area with that same person, you can meet up with them, and then you can actually start dating in real life. Or you, or if you feel uncomfortable with that, or you just don't want to, because they could be catfishing you, and you could get faked out. So, uh, well, you can me, go. Wait, continue. Uh, you do. I don't really have much. Oh, okay. Um, well, I have a website here, um, and this is in the United States, so this is not including if you live in like the UK, Canada, or any other countries. Um, it says that. Um, e-dating, like some web uh, online dating websites, which is a form of e-dating, approximately 25 of rapists use it, and they use it to find their victim, and that's not good at all. I mean, yeah, it can you can still find terrible people even if you don't e-date, but it's really bad to e-date. Um, another thing is catfishing. I could say that I'm a 50, I'm a 19 year old girl, and then. I could really just be a male that's like 30 and trying to get girls, or I could be doing bad things. And most people, it's, I think it's better if you actually meet them because you can see what they're like. Because online, I could say that I'm a nice person, but if I actually go out in public and meet you, I could be the worst person you will ever meet, you know? Um, do you have anything to argue against my opinion or no? Well... I don't know if I can actually argue with that, because you do got a point, because you can trick anybody, and, like, as you said, like, you can pretend you're, like, you're a 19-year-old or blah, 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 which you're actually could be, like, 25, 24, and it's kind of messed up that you lie about it, yeah. and make them date you, even though, like, okay, they're 18, okay, Change subject. They're no. Okay. Um, they're thirteen. You're fifteen. You're lying about your age, and it's like actually not cool. Like, depends on how many years is split between you and that person. Well, I mean, first, can I uh, say something? But sorry for cutting you off. Um, you just I'm said okay. that like even if it's like a little bit of an age gap, you're you're still lying, and you're still not saying the truth and it's not truthful when you meet someone in real life or IRL um you can actually see what you can actually see who they are um I wouldn't like I could say online I'm 13 and I could be quote unquote dating someone that's like 16 let's just say sorry if that's a bad idea but I could meet them and they could be way older way less younger or you know it's not good because in real life if I were to meet you at like let's say school because that's where most people meet, because, like, if you're in school, you can find people. Um, if I were to find you at school, I could say, oh, well, you're in my grade, or I see you every day at school, and you seem nice that every time I met you, you're this age. I can still, you know, talk to you. I can still date you. But if I were to eat at you, you could just completely catfish me. 
And, I mean, I, I think that's pretty not cool because, like, it's, it's basically lying to the other person. And people can fall in love and people can think of this. And they can be, this, these relationships of e-dating, quote-unquote, can go on for years. And some can last, like, a lot of years. And um, it can, even if it's not, like, do anything bad when you actually meet them, you can still groom them online. And that's not good because you can still do it even if you did meet them in real life. But the chances of it happening is way less of a percentage than actually meeting them online. But what happens if you have pictures of proof? Like, say, you, they say, um, okay, grab a, grab a note. Um, write down exactly what I say and take a picture of yourself holding it up that they have proof when you can't catfish, catfish them. Because what are the odds of you finding a kid that, or whatever you are, that looks like that and wrote the exact same thing? What are the odds of really finding that? So some people can't always catfish, but some can. I mean, you, I mean, you make a good point, but people know how to edit these days. And even, even if you didn't know how to edit, and I still sent you a picture of my face. That still is not enough of actually meeting them. Because if I, let's say I, I knew you in real life, right? I could actually see what you look like. I could see you. I could talk to you. I could see the way you act, the way you describe things, like your facial features. But if I were to do that online, and if I show proof, quote unquote, for like, if you said like, write this down, it's not, it's not as good. Like, would you rather meet someone that at like your school? Would you rather meet someone online that you have no clue just because of the picture they look like? They could they could be like complete jerks, and they can be complete like people that hurt your heart and do all this mean things to you. And I personally, I just I couldn't do that. If they're being a jerk, just don't talk to them. Ever. Oh yeah, and someone just DM me something. This actually does make a, n another good point. Is people know there's a thing called filters and. Most people, when they send pictures of what they look like, they want to look better. They, If you have acne, some people can be, like, embarrassed of it. They might, like, show you a picture of, like, their face airbrushed. Or, it's nothing, like, in real life. If I met you in real life and I saw, like, oh, you have this on your face or, oh, you have this, I can actually see what you look like. But if I were to meet you online with a filter, it's kind of difficult. If you have a filter, some people... Like, I know a bunch of people who can, I don't know how, but I do know a bunch of people that I met in person that me and him actually went online meeting a bunch of people, and if they use a filter or not, we asked for their picture, blah, 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 I don't know. We asked for the filter, and then some people, and then with some other people, they don't use a filter, so... It's not that hard to tell a difference, and some people are good at editing, some people are just, no. Yeah, but another point um, is, this is not this is kind of getting off the topic of, like, real love, but, um, see, True. when you're e-dating, like, I kind of, I'm, I'm going to go back to personality, because the real way you can find love is not, like, basically off the way you look, it's the way you act. I can be, I can look gorgeous, and be, and I can look like the most prettiest person you've ever met. And you want to date me right away. But does that mean I'm a nice person? I could be the worst person you ever meet. My e-dating, you can only see the best of me. I noticed that even with my friends, if I talk to them in real life, you know, they actually get to see, like, the real me. They get to see all that. If I'm texting, I might act a little bit different because, you know, it's it's literally like the, you're just texting. And let's say you FaceTime someone. Even if you FaceTime them, you can still put on an act and act a certain way because it's nothing like you actually meeting them in real life. And if you didn't meet them in real life, you have a chance of getting um, hurt. I mean, even though sometimes it could be true, there's a chance of you being um, some sort of bad thing happening to you. Because you, so most people, once they get a relationship, if you're young, like 13 to like 15, you may not want to tell your parents, oh, I'm dating this person. You might want to keep it so a secret till after. So you could tell your parents, oh, I'm going to go to the park. I'll be back in like an hour. Little do they know you could be meeting someone online that you met. And... That's not real love if you have to go out of your I'll way give, and meet them privately. I'll give you a good point because you could be anyone and you could be me meeting a minor that is young on straight illegal. Well, do you have another point you could, um, because it, it, you keep on going off my points. Is there a point that you can say that I can go off and argue about? Just to be honest, I'm straight lost anymore. I don't know. Um, well, 
I mean, I'm still gonna believe that e-dating is not good, because, like I said, it's all about your personality, it's all about the way you act, I mean, I could be a total different person, you know, um. Wait, yo, how about this, okay, why don't you just FaceTime them? Do you have anything to, like, go by that? I can't say much about it, I have to hear what you think about it, well, and then maybe, just maybe I can come with some ideas. Well, FaceTime, let's just say about FaceTime. I could, let's say I knew you, and I was quote-unquote dating you. Um, when we FaceTime, I could be off, I'm just gonna, I can, I'm gonna bring two points in here, but my first point, my first point again, is personality, because that's really, like I said, the whole point of dating. Um, I could be a total nice person to you, it could be like, like, love at first sight, you might love me the first time you see me, like, we could be like, best of friends and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, does that mean anything of actually meeting you in real life? Because, necessarily, most of the chances of you meeting someone in real life, those have a, a better percentage. I'm not going to bring in exact percentages because I don't know exactly the percentages. But, most of them have a higher percent of um, getting into real relationships and mar marriage and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. I think that it's not real love and like it's all about like even if we were dating like and i met you in real life um i can still have filters and all that kind of stuff but i can have um like anything has like things to make me look different i could be like really old but i could like make myself look younger and i could trick you and that could really like make you sad like i can have a very negative impact on you because you could be like i could be i could be quote unquote e-dating you for what like two years without you knowing and you know how hurt you would be if if that was all lies and i just was completely different wouldn't that like hurt you if you were dating someone that long yep i mean because i mean like if i'm gonna be doing something and um you just you you want to give me another point because i need more points to go off of Okay, what about some people who, like, are very, I don't know, bro, um, anti-social? Like, what about people who don't, what if, yeah, I can't. Oh, do you, do you, What okay. about people who just don't want to meet in real life, and, like, they're not good with dating in real life, and some people that eat eggs feel more comfortable with, I don't know how they could honestly feel comfortable. Some people are just that way. But what happens if a people if a person is bad at IRL relationships and they should just stick with E Day then because well, they can't handle it yet? I mean when the whole point of dating yeah, I'm not gonna call it E dating, just the whole point of dating um is to like find love and later it can like help you out like marriage and all that kind of stuff. So, if I if I met someone and they said I don't want to meet in real life, I don't want to do this, and we were e dating, I don't think I would accept that. If if I knew they weren't catfishing, I wouldn't e date, of course. But if I did, because if if you don't want to meet in real life, what is this relationship gonna be? It's just gonna be seeing you on camera or seeing you just talk to me on like Discord or messages. Like it would be something that you would never meet them. I mean, the whole point is to be together, and if you I mean, I can understand your long distance, but most long distance do not last. Everyone knows that. Like, everyone knows that most of the time people break up of it because of that. So, if you're already starting off with long distance, it's a little more difficult. Or it can be more easier, but it's just a way more harder because you don't get to actually interact with your thing except doing stuff like games or talking to them. Because if I, like, met you in real life and I got to hang out with you, I'd be like, oh, let's go to the park and let's hang out or oh, let's go to an amusement park, you know, you want to hang out? But, I mean, once you get bored of the relationship, if you can't even do anything with them. Okay, I have a point with that, but I'm going to cut it down now. Someone else can debate this with you, because I'm not the tape that is going to do well at this at all. Fail. Congrats. If you are confident in continuing the debate, then we can end the debate here. Yeah. I mean I mean, I can understand, like, what you're, like, saying. Like, some of your points make sense. It just, 
I think that like I keep on saying ideas and you just keep on going off of them. So if you can give me ideas, I can actually like, go off of them because I keep on just going back to the same thing. All right. So uh, the person that is against e dating, Rena. Mhm. So people are actually requesting that someone else debate you. Okay. You know, no offense to the original. No offense to the original debater, of course. You did great. We just feel that you have really good opinions on this subject, and you have really good stuff. Yeah, thank so, you. We're going to move you back down to the audience, and we're okay. going to choose someone up. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to try and hit all the hands down so I can get a real feel for the uh, people that want to go. Don't raise your hand, all right? Don't raise your... Everyone is... Everyone just don't raise your hand, all right? Please don't right now. Now, raise your hand if you want to debate this person for for dating. You you think e-dating is a great thing. Um, I'm trying to find okay. someone. I can't raise my fucking hand. <laughs> what do you say? How about you join... Well, hold on now, Chippy. Go back down to the audience. <laughs> And we'll just look through the uh, possible debaters while we talk with uh, people. Okay. Actually, I'm very keen on bringing this one person up. Oh my gosh, so many like, people are spamming my DMs. My d- <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm bringing this one person up. One okay. reason, one, they are a member of Curl. You have to be a member of Curl to come up on the stage. And uh-huh. two... They're using an old profile picture of mine. Mine was slightly edited to uh-huh, fit okay. kind of custom to me. Yeah. But let's. Uh, hello. 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 Yeah, I just wanted to say that. Oh my gosh! Um, Someone spent my DM with the N word. Give me a second. Okay, what? Yeah. What about like the people who like just suffer like in general from like anxiety? You know, because it's kind of. How do I say it? Because sometimes people can't just, like, talk. That's why there's been, like, research that once... Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the masks. The masks okay? People are more confident with going out in masks, okay? Uh-huh. But the point is, like... Oh. Wait, was that it from them? I don't know. They just like cut off midway. Whatever. We're gonna keep farming this. Who, whoever supports e dating, raise your hand, and you're gonna argue against this person. Did the other host leave? Um. Yeah, he had to go, so I'm taking over. Oh yeah, yeah no worries. All right. I'm just gonna get law from up here. All right. He's not coming up. Um. This person uh, in DMs asked if they could debate me. Um, their name's Garfield. Garfield? All right. Tell them to raise their hand. All right, I see. Uh, raise your hand, Garfield. Dude, wait. You've been eating for three years? Holy shit. No, um, how do you not get bored of that? I have an opinion. Never mind. Damn. Garfield isn't raising his hand, so... Okay, well, let okay. me see. Uh, there's a bunch of people spamming my DMs. Um, okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, for when you're trying to invite me, I accidentally like re- canceled the request. So, anyways, um, I asked a few questions. So, um, first off, um, I know like I get your perspective, but like, what if they have some like, um, like what if something like happened to them that like literally like messed up their looks? Like, let's say that um, they were, um, their house burned down. But they weren't able to escape, so their face, you know, got comes got covered with burns. Their nose is like slightly damaged, and their mouths are just damaged. Also, yeah. So like, if a person doesn't want to, I'm, I'm trying to explain this very well. Yeah. Uh, so like, hmm. it's okay. Continue. I, it's okay, Mister. Okay. 
So, oh my fucking god, this kid sent it me in the end. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute, let me just Yeah, it looks people are spamming you that too, it's okay. Yeah, okay. People are so, sending you so the like, N word, DM uh, their ID to a moderator. So oh, I bet. Take care of it. Alright, let me just unblock him real quick. Okay, never mind, I guess. Okay, so what's their uh, odds of uh, uh, moderators? Uh, oh yeah, it's Jenny, okay. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, I got it. Okay, so, if a person is like afraid of her looks, not because they think they're actually ugly, because they're because something tra traumatizing actually happened to them, uh -huh. then how would you respond to this? Well, this is like personally, but I mean, if you, if most people, um, they think of looks, but most people when you date, it's all about your personality. So if you were like burnt in a house fire, unfortunately, I think if you don't want to date them because of your looks, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be judging that because that doesn't mean anything. And like even if you did date in real life, or you did e date, I mean even then why um if they care like just something that's stupid and I think that like actually I think that hmm you made a good point. Yeah, because like because like you know um I had the I had a friend. Who mm -hmm. like burnt in the fire of the house, and he actually got, you know, he he was terribly bullied for the way he looked, because, huh. you know, like, when I first when I met when I met him like in first grade, he looked perfectly normal, and, yeah. and I'm pretty sure this happened until like he was in the eighth grade, where like his house accidentally burnt down, and mm -hmm. now it's just now he just looks he he just looks sad, and I don't res and I and I respect him and all, um, you know, I'm still friends with him till this day. But, you know, he's sending me messages telling me that he's becoming suicidal. He just doesn't love himself anymore. And I try to help him. And I tell mm -hmm. him, yo, you're going to find someone. They don't care how you look. Just, just, just honestly, just love yourself. Yeah. And, and he just keeps telling me no and no. Until possibly one of the worst days that I possibly had in my life. He committed suicide because quarantine happened. That. Yeah. Yeah. I was like. Kind of, you know, devastated. Honestly, I went to the yeah, funeral. yeah. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, and it wasn't only me that was like so sad, but my whole family was sad because, like, he was my childhood friend. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Well, I think that let's say you even as his friend, if you can accept him because of the way he looks, I think that you were like quote unquote you dating. I think that it shouldn't matter. I think that. Yeah. If you can accept him as a friend, even like you, if known him, even if you didn't know him all your life, if you can bully him, then I think the same way should go with even um, dating IRL. Yeah, I, I personally think that too. But on the other hand, um, wait a minute. I'm trying to think of like another. What was I going to say again? Yeah, it's okay. You think. Okay, well, how about this, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. can I, uh, why do you think I'll give you a little argument to go off of? Um, how do you feel about people, because people lie all the time, they can lie in real life and everything, how do you feel about them, um, they could be lying about their personality on e-dating, how would you react? Oh, okay, so, here's what I, how, okay, so, if a person lies to me mm -hmm. about the e-dating, first off, I would just not believe them, like, I would be like, okay, you're either telling the truth or not telling the truth, so, like, I'll just keep it as, like, a 50-50, I'll just, uh -huh. you know, expect for the, I would just expect anyone for to lie, honestly. I like because I had experience of people like asking me out online, and yeah. you know they told me that they were a nice person, but I don't believe them. So I'm like, someone's like, okay, we're gonna be this person IRL, so yeah. I'm gonna expect for them to to lie because if I expect them the truth and they're like mean, then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna be like, wow, what a waste of my time. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be mad or angry. I would just be like disappointed because for me to be angry and mad at the person, in my opinion, is just immature. It just shows you how much not only a rude person you are, but also it shows that you don't know how to control your anger. In my um, in my opinion, in my opinion. Can I? Sorry for cutting you off. Um, my um, I'm gonna go off a little thing you just said. You said that if they did, it's a fifty fifty. The most uh, of the time, I might have to die. It's okay. I'll just wait when you're ready. Okay, my head. Okay, I'm back. So what were you saying? I was saying that you said that, like, it's a 50-50 to if they're gonna, like, 
act a certain way, see, if you're in dating them, uh, it can come with any relationship, but, like, isn't that just, like, a little... What, what happened? Oh, sorry, my mic. Uh, uh, uh it's fine. Car. Um, like, if you were to, um, 50-50 it, doesn't that just sound already bad? If you have to kind of think about it and act if they're gonna act a certain way, like... You have to think, you have to second hand it and think that like, oh, well, if they might be acting this way, doesn't that seem like a little dumb and you have to think that way? Yeah. Well, I understand where you're getting from, but like, that's how I like, like to think of eating is like, okay, a 50-50, it's going to be a good, if, if like, okay, so from my perspective, I think that if a person's lying online, they're just messed up. They're just like, yeah. generally messed up. Yeah. So... When a person, so, like, when someone I know, or when, or just generally me, is, like, going out, just meeting, talking to someone online, and they're mm-hmm. saying, oh, their personality is so nice, um, I'll just tell them, yo, uh, just, okay, I know you're excited to meet this person, but just a reminder, you're not, you don't know if he's a good person, or, or, or he or she is a yeah. good person. Mm-hmm. So, what happened is, is that, when I tell them this, like, when I tell everyone that, yo, you should not be, you know, kind of ex- excited, they get mad at me, they tell me to go fuck off, and then when they come back to me, they're just like, and they come to me crying, saying this person was a, a mean person, and honestly, I'm not even angry at them, I'm just disappointed, and I even be honest with them, I'm just like, I'm not even angry at you, I'm just disappointed. Because... Like the... Sorry, you continue. No, 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 you continue, I want to hear what you say first. Um, well, you know how you just said, like, oh, um, if they, they'll they come back to you and they'll say, like, oh, this person, like, did this to me, or whatever? Mm-hmm. When you're dating someone in real life, if, let's say, um, someone was acting too nice or too this, you mean, you can, when you're in real life, you can tell by body language, like, they can be doing something called a nervous tick that you oh, can tell yeah. that they're lying oh, yeah. or something like that. When, when I'm, te- like, I could, let's say me and you were dating, or e-dating. Yeah, and... And I told you this person, but you start to notice that I'm not making direct eye contact. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure you heard the common theme that if a person, you get the one, the number one way to tell if a person's lying is that when you look straight into their eyes, and if they're not looking at you, they are lying to you, is yeah. what I heard. So, yeah. like, okay. that's the number one way, but there's, like, multiple ways to tell if a person's lying. And, is like, that if their oh, legs sorry. are shaking. No, you get to me. You get to me. It's fine. Um, but also what I was getting at is like body language, and also like if I were to meet you in real life and we were not dating, um, I could tell you were a certain way because there's a thing called meeting in real life friends, and when you meet them, you could be like, oh, does it? How do you know? How do you feel about like this person? Do you think they're nice? Do you think they're this? And you can ask like their friends or whatever, and there's people that know, and. When you're e-dating, you really don't know anything about the person until you ask. And same with, like, inner life. But, like, when you're e-dating, you can't really tell anything, like, about the way they specifically act. Because, like you said, like, not looking at them or that. And it's just, like, it just sounds so, like, you could be like, oh, this person's not that interested. Or this person's not this way. But, but when you're in, but, like, when you're e-dating, you can't really tell that. And, um... I'm gonna, can I ask, can I say another point, or no? Uh, yeah, you, you can, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Another thing is, when it comes to, um, like, actual, like, e-dating, when you're e-dating, you can't, you can get groomed really easy, and you can still get groomed. Oh, yeah. I heard a lot of people, um, actually, um, my friend, um, well, it wasn't, it was a friend from, like, a long time ago, but we're not, we don't talk anymore, but he would, but... He told me that, like, you know, his little brother was trying to, like, find a girl online, and and his parents clearly told him, don't do that, it's a bad idea, but he, anyways, and there was this one, quote-unquote, girl, um, you know, he was, like, you know, at first, it was a normal conversation, they were, like, asking us, they were, like, asking each other, how was your day, what are you doing, how are you feeling, basically the usual stuff, yeah. and then, and then slowly, it starts to get really creepy, really messed up, and just overall really disgusting. Mm-hmm. And the little brother didn't came to the parent; he came to me. And I and honestly, I don't even know why. I don't even know why. It is but like when I got home, I realized that you know actually no, I saw that he trusted me, so I just assumed that he trusted me more than his parents. And when I saw 
the disgusting the disgusting things that he was saying. Um, I it was just so this fucking disgusting. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, sorry for cutting you off. Like, it, when if I'm dating someone, um, like I could someone could say, well, you know, I'm actually this age and I'm not really this age. And so if anyone tells you on this, don't believe them. It's just lies. You some people can get like manipulated and they can think, oh well, you know. They're saying that this, and they're, I'm going to believe them, you know? But I just, I think that, like, when you, if someone's older than me or same age, and like you said, in, like, experience, um, I think that that's pretty weird, because in real life, yeah, you can still get groomed, um, but it's not as bad as in dating, because in dating, it happens a lot more, because okay, um, don't know I want to say, I want to say something right now. Yeah. Um. Who said the fucking um? Hold on, where I'm trying to find this shit. Um, father's child. Um, first off, I just want to let you know I do not care. I have a fucking father. I like your ugly ass. I'm sorry for my language, but another thing. Um, give me the stage. Not not for e dating. These people sound young. Okay, first off, I had multiple people coming to me, and I know I'm so I'm, I know I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been cursing, but I, and that's why I said I'm sorry for my language. Anyways, um, I'm sorry, but listen. I'm not saying that, you know, e-dating is just for young people who want to, you know, date. No, it's just so dumb. It's just, like, really dumb, in my opinion. Um, well, um, now that we've kind of, like, talked about this, is there, give me, like, another topic I can go off of, because... Um, you... actually, I, this is this is what a lot of people would have been asking, but I'm pretty sure it's atheism versus mm-hmm. atheism. A- Bruh. I don't... Okay. Athe- atheism versus religion. You know, so, yeah, a lot... Change topics like that. Wait, what? You, you don't have the authority to just change topics, bro. Oh, do we have to ask permission? Oh, I think we're that's... still on the e-dating topic. Because we're still oh, yeah. on the e-dating. Do you, do you want to stop? Because it feels uh, like more than I want to talk to this, this other person. Yeah. I kind of um, want to stop this. Like, okay. You know, eating, eat, 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 yeah, do you want to stop or continue? I, mean, uh, I, I want to stop and talk about something else. But it's whatever. Yeah. I want to talk get. There's like a lot of people that want to debate you right now. So you can get yeah. a person. And uh, respectfully, can everyone stop spamming me, asking me if you can go up? Like, it's really annoying. And then I'm getting all these friend requests. So can you please stop? You can just make them private for now. Yeah, I'll get this person up. Oh, she's serving video. Wait, okay. Wait, let me fix this real quick. Sorry if, like, I'm stuttering. But it's because I'm not used to talking in front of 315 people. Yeah, no, it's fine. That's natural. All right. Raise your hand again. Whoever. All right, there you go. Yeah. Yo. Um, if I were, like, whoever I'm debating, um, can you give your first topic first? Because, uh, I, I want to debate after you, like, after your thing. Okay, so I wanted to say that I have developed a meaningful relationship with Vel's mother. And, um, you know, we met up IRO. I had sex with her. It was cool and all. Um, you know, we're still together to this day. I don't see what's wrong with it. Meeting up online, you can turn out to have a marriage and everything um yeah i mean okay uh you know how you said well you guys are like in a meaningful relationship good for you guys but um i'm saying like do you guys uh do you guys like um uh how do we say this um do you guys like um have you guys met up a lot i mean yeah you guys have met up but see most people um not not saying everybody but a majority like 50 50 they don't meet meet the person that they're dating for you for instance you did meet the person but when you don't meet a speci- you don't, when you don't meet the person you're dating it's a little bit more difficult because like i said you don't know the real them and it's you can even say like isn't it better when you get to be with the person that like you love or who you're dating like in your experience yeah. do you like being with her or he or i don't know who you're dating yeah, um, sure. yeah don't you like being with her actually in real life instead of just talking to her online or texting her video call. Yeah, but that that's my point. Like it starts online and it, it develops into something more. That's what happened. I mean so it's not currently e dating since we met up. 
Yeah, but I'm saying, like, e-dating, you can find people, but, I mean, I think that most of it, not, I'm not saying every single one, so don't, like, say that I said that, but a lot of them, it just, it doesn't go well like that. A mo- majority get groomed, majority get, um, catfished, I mean, a couple, True. like, a lot of them, not saying every single one, but a, more, a lot of people can get, like, how you were fortunate enough to get, like, an actual person that you love or who you're dating. And I think that's pretty cool, but it's not fortunate for every single person you meet. And I think that's not as, like, cool as if you would meet someone in real life. Well, I'm not saying guarantee who you're dating in real life you'll guarantee be with, but I think that you get to see, um, you get to see them, you get to hang out with them. And like you said, you like the feeling of, like, actually being with her, not talking to her. I think it's cooler if you actually get to talk to her because you can actually see if you hit it off. And if you can see that if it went well, because sometimes you can say, oh, well, it went well online, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be, like, amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, but in this case, well, I, I know it doesn't happen very often. It's very rare, but just in this case, it did work out very well, and so far it's going great. Uh, is there any other points you would like to think of, like, to make? Well, we have uh, this mutually beneficial thing where we hook up a lot, and uh, yeah, we just have a good time, and uh-huh. meeting online can... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hold it in anymore. Nigger, 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 oh nigger, Oh my nigger. god. Dude. Alright. Damn. <laughs> hey, do you want to keep going? I mean, I... I can keep going, but, I mean, I need, like, I want to say my opinions, but, I mean, people need to start making different points, and I can start making different points. Yeah, that's true. Because I can't make, like, different opinions when no one else is, they're just saying the same thing, and I'm saying the same thing. Like, I don't know, it's farming members, I don't care. All right, so I'm going to bring up this booster, and Uh they are for e-dating. Yo, diggity dogs. Hi. All right, do I change my username for this, or what's up, bro? I'll change it while you talk. All right, appreciate it. I'm going to start my claim as you, as you, said, as you re- 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 requested. Okay. You said to uh, start the claim and then yield rebuttal? Is yeah. That, is that to your liking? Yeah, yeah. All right. So first off, mm-hmm. I believe e-dating is, is something that is very uh, case by case. Mm-hmm. It's not something you can just point out and like blatantly say it's wrong or right. I am going to say there are very, very big risks you take with e-dating, but doesn't mean that it's wrong and like that it's invalid or it's not a real love method. Because honestly, people can find meaning in anything. You can find meaning yeah. in literally believing something that doesn't actually exist. You can, you can find meaning in that. Like, yeah. I, I could be like, I could be any gender I want. You know, I can do anything I want. Point is, I believe that e-dating is a, is a way for people to cope, specifically people who are, like, genuinely bad at social uh, interaction. Yeah. Like, think of, think of, like, being in a real-world situation where you get hella nervous, you break down, you, like, for me, it's not, it's not, it's like, right now, I'm, I'm standing here in front of 300, maybe 350, maybe 330 people, and right now, I'm getting nervous as fuck, but, like, I, yeah, it's okay. this is because I'm nervous in general, and that's just online, bro, I shouldn't be nervous, no one's here breathing down my neck, no one's here, you know, looking me in the eyes, and the thing is, I still got nervous. I'm still hella nervous here. That's just proving my point that it's like online is 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 semi real. I get it. You don't have the same realism that you get from a real relationship you're 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 talking to with eye contact. Because I mean, th- think about it. There's literally literally been studies that are like if you really are uh, interacting with someone in a conversation, you yeah. need to have eye contact for that to work out like actually genuine interaction. And mm-hmm. like from a learning perspective, if you're teaching in a school, it's the difference between it's literally the difference between what online schooling is doing for people like it's just like people love it and they're doing better than they would in regular school and that's just because it's e you know it's, it's online at that point no it's yeah. not it's, it's not different it's no different for dating in my opinion just like online school works for some people and maybe it doesn't work for others it's no different for e-dating i believe it's a very good coping method for people who do not know how to socially engage in a socially accepted in a socially accepted environment and, and position you know or way because think of it mm-hmm. if you're if you were if you were to talk to someone face to face that same exact person. Let's say they are a creeper. Let's say they are a groomer. Yeah. You talk to them face to face. You give them. You give them your 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 peace of mind, right? You give them your uh, two cents about what they are. And then what? 
you, you each go your separate ways. Yeah. That's if you're if you were to meet them IRL, they probably they would be hella creepy. One thing, but like, there's no reason to 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 assume that everyone who e dates is gonna be a creeper first off, yeah. or is going to be a um complete like letdown for you. Because honestly, it's a give and take thing. You know, you're gonna you're gonna find someone that you really want to talk to or like genuinely enjoy talking to, and then you say, oh well, you know, let's e date or something like that. You know, if if it gets that to that position, and you're you're not gonna be like someone else who you just talked to like for days on end weeks on end maybe you knew him for years irl yeah are you gonna um, be the same way for that or are you gonna ask him out it's it's a lot easier is my point can now I, what's, your, um, what's your rebuttal here can i cut you off and then you can continue go for it my dude you got okay. this um what i'm like arguing against i i understand where you're coming from and i really agree with most of the stuff you're saying and i think that a lot of relationships do well with e-dating like don't get me wrong but i think that um, just like the last guy, even though he was bad, um, he said he's been dating a person for like, for whatever time, and he said it's been doing well, right? Because they started off mm-hmm. dating. He said right. that he, pre- uh, sorry, he said that he preferred um, seeing her in real life, and he said that he liked it better, like actually interacting with her. And he, don't get me wrong, you can still interact her. I mean, you can still interact he, her, or they, um, if you did meet them, e dating. But I think that. Personally, like, if you're gonna e date, I think that yep. um, you better. I think that. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of a point because what you said made the most sense. But like, a lot of uh, this is coming from U.S. and um, this is just like a percentage, and it said that online dating sites and like apps, which is a form of e dating. Um, you're telling me like stuff like uh, Tinder or um. Yeah, because that's a form of like that? date. Yeah, that's a form of e dating. I, I wouldn't say that, considering it's 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 a method of dating, I would say. Because if you think about it, e-dating is literally strictly online. If you're doing something like Tinder, which is, well, it could be used for, you know, e-dating, but it's not specifically meant to be. It's more for hookups or people you're going to meet eventually. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. And most okay. dating apps are dating apps. Otherwise, they'd be called e-dating apps. Yeah. Um, I think that, um, like you said, your points are making a lot of sense, but I think that um, most e-dating, yeah, they can do well, but it's the same with in-real-life relationships. They can still do bad, but I think that if you, like, for me personally, this may not be you, but let's say mm-hmm. I had some sort of, um, I was socially awkward, or I didn't like okay. meeting people in real life. and So you're the I environment to... that I described earlier? So yeah, you're, like, in like, the input position? Okay, let's hear yeah. it. Let's say I was like that, and I mm-hmm. didn't want to date. I didn't want to like actually go out of my way to go see people in real life. Yeah, okay. it would be a good method, but I think you need to understand that if you want the whole point of dating is to make it go far. You may be girlfriend and boyfriend or whatever till you get old and you don't want to get married. But even if you are married, if you do get married, the whole point is to like make it go far. You're not only hey, supposed to keep keep it as long as possible. That's why yeah. they have anniversaries. I get you. N- yeah. No, then um. What- um, so, what I was saying is, like, um, if you're just e-dating and you mm-hmm. feel really awkward, if this just goes on for life, um, eventually one another is going to want to meet because it's, like, you, you've just been doing this for so long. Like, if I was e-dating for five years, I know that kind of just seems unrealistic, but let's say I was, don't you think that's a long right. time without actually being able to see them or actually being able to, like, meet them in real life, to hug them, to do all that stuff? Don't you think it would be, like, more mm-hmm. better? There are very, very good benefits to being in an IRL position versus an, an electronic or, you know, I, I hate to say imaginary, but it's kind of like your boundary of what you are physically to them is different. I get that. If you're still dating, if you're e-dating, whether it be IRL dating or e-dating, there's no difference in my opinion. The reason why is because the only well, there is a difference, but there's no difference in the boundaries you're setting with each other. Because in my opinion, dating is something that you do with and you find the limits to your relationship with someone and that limit that you just made or that you that limit that you found out is going to then be pushed and basically made bigger you know it's no longer a limit it's going to be boundless if you're dating someone versus like it's going to be even bigger if you married someone my point is dating is something that you do it's it's literally not going to be long term if it's dating it's not long term it's not going to be meaningful you do it to find out who you're compatible with Mm -hmm. so i hate it I, I'm going to say this right now. This is emotion. This is not my point, but I'm going to say it because it adds to my point. Yeah. 
continue. Emotionally, emotionally, people can be really, really unstable. They they don't know what what's what's right for them yet. They don't know how to go about what their emotions, what they're feeling, because it's all about puberty and shit like that. Whenever you're really young, but like yeah. whenever you get older, you'll you'll learn how to basically. I hate to say capitalize, but you'll learn how to you know adjust yourself, and whether it be not adjusting yourself and people just adjust to you, or you adjust to others, and it's just, it's all give and take with dating. Because honestly, if you're dating someone for the purpose of just getting to know them and talking to them, or you enjoy what their company, that's kind of one sided in my opinion. I think with that the real relationship, I get it. There's no difference with e-dating, um, in my, is what I'm saying. But with a real relationship like IRL, there's more boundaries. Uh, well, not, sorry, not boundaries, sorry for like, cutting you off, but I want to ask you a question. Have you well, ever personally e-dated? Like, I you have. Know the experience of it? And how did that relationship go, if you don't mind me asking? I'm going to say pretty ass. Yeah. Okay, it not really gonna... sucked. It, it really hurt my heart. You know, I, I fucked up big time because of the fact that... Uh, it was one of it, I didn't know it at the time, but she was actually a coworker of mine, and she was claiming that she was just online and really far away, and yeah. it got me really scared because like she wanted to fuck, right? Excuse my language, but like she was trying to like seduce me and shit like that, and like basically rape me. Yeah, sorry for and cutting. I wasn't down for that. No, sorry for cutting. So I, had, I had to cut ties, and honestly, it felt a lot safer to me the moment I quit my job, and the moment I blocked her on every platform, mm-hmm. it felt a lot a lot safer and relieving to me. To know that I'm allowed to do something like that. Versus yeah. if they were met IRL and they knew everything about me firsthand right then and there. Because um, it's just scary, bro. Um, but like, for instance, like how you said how how she was some coworker you worked with. Like, don't you think that it, that's, you even said that it like broke your heart or whatever. That mm-hmm. it didn't go well. I think that, mm-hmm. that can still happen to anyone if you were in real life dating. Um, but I think that, I think that it would happen more because... Like, them, did they put on, like, some sort of mask to act a certain way? Like, did you, would you ever, unless they, like, you there found was no, out? There was no sign of deceit, no. What it was is it was just, it's called miscommunications. If you think about it, what a, what a real dating situation is, by, by that I mean IRL dating versus, uh, even then it's real dating. But my point is, the act of dating isn't necessarily limited to online or IRL. It's just the, 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 the thing you do for getting to know someone, getting to, you know, adjust to their their I, I hate to say like um it's like you're playing a game with someone you know if you're playing a game you obviously aren't just gonna adjust your own rules and make up your own rules and all this stuff right you're gonna want to do it the way the game is intended but i'm just saying like as in love as a game thing you aren't gonna play play your cards in a way that's gonna you know not be for the long term as you said earlier it's gonna be yeah. a different it's gonna be different for everyone everyone else has their own cards everything everything's gonna be different and i, I think that it's just a coping skill it's an actual so I, w- I hate to say skill. It's more of a um a coping strategy to e date versus on like online date versus IRL dating. So yeah. I'm kind of stuttering over my words, but also I want to mention that long distance relationships. Keep yeah. in mind if it's an IRL relationship, like if people IRL are dating, that they yeah. will oftentimes use methods, especially if they go long distance, if they met in person. And then they go overseas or, you know, yeah. something like that happens. Then, yeah. of course, they're going to have to be resort. They still want to keep contact. They still want to keep their relationship there. They yeah, want to basically sorry. the fundamentals of a relationship don't stop at just online or, you know, at IRL. Yeah. They can be endless. And I think that it's just stupid to believe. I'm not saying stupid, my bad. I think it's very, very wrong to believe that dating as an e as, as a form of like online or offline is yeah. wrong or right. I don't think is that the is that your topic of claim? Is that um, your claim? Uh, can I um say something? Sorry for if I'm cutting oh, you off. I'm kind of losing my statements too. That's my bad. Kind of getting um, nervous here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep on cutting you off, but um, what I was gonna say is um, so I literally okay, um, let's say um I was dating someone and my boyfriend was like had to move somewhere or uh, family issues. Mm-hmm. Long distance, got it. Yeah, long distance. If that happened to me and we had to resort do like long distance dating um i mean yeah. both of them can do well don't get me wrong but when you like even in movies or even in like real life most of the time you're like oh well my boyfriend moved away i don't get the affection that i would want if i actually w- he was here with me you know i don't get to see his face i don't get to i mean i don't get to like actually like see him in real life i don't get to give him the hugs or you know like how you regularly would um and it actually said that um an academic researchers report that 37% of long distance couples break up with three months of becoming non geographic close. So that means like moving away. And I think that like, yeah. Do you know the reason for that? 
Um, no, you tell me why. No, I was asking you because I don't know why. Oh, well, most. And of I was wondering, like, what, how that affects, like, the point. Because if if it okay. does, if it was, go ahead, sorry. It says most You're of them break up time. during, yeah. uh, right here, um, unplanned circumstances and events. So. So such as maybe finding someone else IRL. Is that what you're telling me? Um, it could be that, but like another that option is, is very... let's say I was, um, I'm just going to think of an idea. Let's say I had a boyfriend, right? And my okay. boyfriend was in the Navy or he was some sort of military. I'm just giving you an example. And then he got put out on, uh, on, he got um... put up on that. And even if I still yeah, hated him, you, you don't get the connection you regularly would if you knew each other in real life and you got to hang out. By what out. means? Um, you lose connection. Um, if my boyfriend. Who, who loses connection? Both of you guys can. One can. Why? I can, because you're not with each other. You don't. Just like this. If you're, let's say you had, um, let's say your mother, right? Your mm -hmm. mother, um, she had to move away, and your parents were divorced, and right. You don't get the affection of her. Maybe uh, things that you love about her, like she could be amazing at cooking your food, or she can be giving you hugs. You know, just the things that like most Caring for you. Got it. Do, right? Like. Got it. That affection, it means a lot. You know, you would miss her. You kind of lose connection. It's been years and years. You kind of just forget about it. Just like your breakups, right? After a um, while, okay. after breakups, you like it hurts for so long. And then afterwards, you just kind of have to figure out. To, you kind of get bored. And you have to like, kind of get over it. And you have to like move on. Same with, like, same with like dating like that. Like if I lost, let's say my boyfriend, like I said, is in the military. And mm -hmm. I didn't have that connection. I can still talk to him, but. He can meet someone, I can meet someone, and it's just more difficult. So then you're no longer boyfriend and girlfriend. You are a friendly relations, or, you know, you're not yeah, really... You kind of lose anymore. connections, you know? Just like the okay. example I gave with, like, parents. Like, if you, you don't see them for a long time, and all that kind of stuff, like... No, it, I, I'm, I'm going to correct you here. Um, the, the example that you're giving here for parents, yeah. something that's a necessity for youth, yeah. um, you need a parental figure, or maybe it's a guardian or a parental figure, you definitely yeah. need that growing up because you need someone who knows more than you, who's had more experience than you, and who's literally more fitted to do anything you can do, but better yeah. because of that experience and knowledge. You need them to teach you to do what they are doing, whether it be being successful, whether it be being unsuccessful. That's uh -huh. how you learn. Learning is not it, it, well. Learning is a necessity, but loving is not. You can live your whole life without loving someone, without showing any affection towards anyone. And my personal belief on that fact is i believe it's very very helpful what the internet has done for relationships yeah what the and it's also i will say there's a hell of a lot of un unhealthy and unstup or not un, unsolicited sorry unhealthy and i'd say wrong things that it's done like bad things that it's done but it doesn't it doesn't stand to say that if because of all this bad stuff that could happen or that is happening that you should yeah. just completely neglect the fact that e-dating is a format of date dating sorry also, for anyone for anyone out here, I'm 17. I am not 12, nor am I uh, trying to make anyone lose brain cells. I apologize. Right. If I, I think am. you guys are just going back and forth. It was an interesting. I believe topic. that's the case now. But it's going way too long, and people. Are yeah, yeah I, th I heard your alarm go off. My bad. Yeah. yeah my alarm. Well, uh, can I end one point? Yeah, and then can I say one sure. thing before you go? Yeah, let's have let's have our closing statements here. Uh. Um. Do you want to start or? Yeah. Go for it, bro. Try not um, to filibuster though. Yeah. Um, well, to make my last final point, like, to summarize this, I mm -hmm. think that, I think I'm still gonna believe in my stance, even though most of your- You have the right uh, to. Most of all of your, um, everyone that came up on the stage that was going against me, I think that their points were very reasonable, and, like, for instance, you, you kind of stumped me the most, and I'm sorry if I started stuttering because of that, but some of your points did make sense, but I think still, personally, I probably wouldn't eat it, because there's so many different things that, like- cause bad things because of it and same with in real life dating but i just think it's worse and i think that more problems come from it and just and like you said like some in certain cases some people get, can get their like stuff broken and some people can get half catfish some people can get this happen i think that i think that most of it um is bad but i think some of it can be good because a lot of relationships do last for me dating but i think most of the points, like I said, again, your points made a lot of sense, and I think that you were very good to argue against. You kind of left me, like, stumped, and yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Got it. Yeah. Now, now for my ending ending statement. Uh, I, I acknowledge what you believe to be true, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to stop you. 
from believing that e-dating is, is is something that you won't do or that you should do it or not it, i don't i don't really I'm, it's not my place to decide that further further toward that that fact that it's not my place to decide what you can do with your life mm-hmm. i don't think it's anyone's place other than like your own to decide what your love life is looks like looks being like or what your love life is whether that be online or fabricated such as like experiences that could be like detrimental to like a relationship you know can't yeah. really help out the relationship in either way that's what i mean by uh by uh stuff that's like unhealthy stuff like that you know like i don't think that that like never mind but my point is um i'm gonna drop that real quick my point is if you like someone there is no reason to not push for that relationship to be a successful one whether that be on e-dating or irl i just believe that e-dating is a bit better because you have the ability to not only block them if they turn out to be a weirdo, you have the opportunity to come up with a gaming relationship, you know, like a, like a, like a, I forgot what it's called, like an e-pal, I forgot what it's called, but like, you know what I mean. Um, you can like come up with different things that are not just IRL, like going to the movie is an IRL thing versus maybe gaming together, which could be an IRL thing, but it's, it's a lot easier to do through the internet because there's so many people playing games online. Now, if you're on Discord, your your purpose is to just try make friends and do all all kinds of stuff. But the thing is, there's still TOSs. You know, there's still stuff like you don't date anyone that's not of the age to go online. You, you know, stuff like that. And that's but where it gets weird. Just starting over again. You're just starting to argue again, bro. What's up, bro? You guys are just starting to review each other's arguments again. Oh, uh, I mean, he wasn't saying anything. But okay. Gee. I'm a, I'm Yo, oh my bad, my bad, my bad, my absolute bad. No, shit. it's okay. I assume people's genders, and that's kind of bad of me, but like, um, good question. Sick. Yeah. Um, on 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 a, on a quick topic. Uh, why do people think that like, the stage here, the being invited up here, is like a big deal? I don't know. It's really like not... like people are really testing me and telling I'm a twelve year old, oh. and I like to deal with that because if I was twelve, I wouldn't be using Discord. Just saying that. Um, so like people are being hella toxic on yeah, this. Yeah, shit if platform. they're being toxic, to you, you can report. I'm them saying to a I, I'd like to report them, but like I'm just trying to say you got you gotta you gotta focus on that. Sick, you gotta make sure this is a really really like I hate to say hashtag no hate, but like I'm just saying make it a less less of a toxic environment, bro. Um, people I, literally going off on me, man. I'm sick. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I'm just. Saying. I just want to. I just want to say thank you, and I want to say thank you to everyone that I appreciate all of you. Hated against me because I mean I think that all your points were all valid i think that all that made sense um thanks for the opportunity bye hey, hey oh by the way um what's your name uh, uh i don't know what your actual name is it's just against the dating uh rena okay it's been a pleasure talking i uh i really do appreciate your your nerves of steel in this in this debate here uh, i appreciate that that you were pointing and, st- and st- held, held fast is that what it's called when you're really really going with your point you didn't change you didn't falter and that's good i like that keep that keep that debate debate energy going man i'm so nervous bro it's been a pleasure being up here by the way sick thank you for inviting me all right gamers no i wasn't playing clash that was like my alarm why would i play clash